What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's go ahead and dive right on in and talk about which one of these two grapples you may need for your operation. Now, obviously the big difference between these two is that this one over here is going to require you to have a third function hydraulic for the loader on your tractor and this one over here does not so we have what's called a hydraulic or third function grapple over here and then a mechanical grapple over here now other than one being hydraulic and one being mechanical there are going to be some significant differences between these two that you may also want to consider because if you already have third function on your tractor you still may decide that you would rather just have the mechanical grapple rather than the hydraulic so some of the differences are the first big one is going to be weight so our weight on this grapple over here and this is going to be the av 20 f from frontier this is made for the one two and three series tractors this one is going to be right around 203 pounds operating weight now, whenever we move over here to the mechanical grapple, this is going to be the Frontier MG20F. This is also made for the 1, 2, and 3 series tractors. It's going to jump up significantly to 281 pounds. So the weight differential alone may be one of the things that you need to look at when you're thinking about grapples. Because if we're putting both of these grapples on a tractor like the 1025R here, that extra 80 pounds is going to make a big difference on what we can actually pick up with that grapple because we have to consider the weight of the machine goes along with the lifting capacity of the loader. The next thing to consider is the way that the top closes here. So when what I mean by that is how much surface area are you getting on your actual clamp? You have to consider that over here on the hydraulic, we only get about half of the length of our full grapple that's going to close down on whatever you're trying to pick up. Whereas if we move over here to the mechanical grapple you'll see that we have the full top clamp that's going to get that whole load now this may not play a big part in what you're doing but whenever we're talking about picking up big piles of brush big piles of material you may want to consider having that wider top clamp to make sure that we are holding in more material the next thing to consider is going to be price now this is always a big one this may be the biggest one in you deciding which one of these we want to go with now if we look at the price of these attachments as themselves the av 20 f over here is going to come in at a list price of around 1935 dollars now the mechanical grapple over here the mg 20 f is going to come in at a list price of right around 2225 dollars so you're looking at roughly 300 dollars more just on the attachment side if we go with the mechanical grapple now the thing that you have to consider and we're going to use the 1025 r back here as the example if your machine does not already have third function hydraulics on it then you are going to have to add that to be able to use the hydraulically driven grapple here now for instance on this john deere 1025r that costs right around twenty five hundred dollars to get those parts and have them installed by your local john deere dealership so now we're putting this grapple over here closer to that forty four hundred dollar range rather than the twenty two hundred dollars over here on the mechanical grapple so if money is something that you're worried about that is going to be another big consideration as well. Now, the other big one is gonna be the way these two grapples can pick up material. So what I've got here is a little example using a couple of grass hay bales here. I'm gonna start with the hydraulic grapple here. And as you can see, when I'm coming up to it, I can simply open up that clamshell, pick it up, pinch it closed, move it, set it down i could easily set it on its side if i wanted to and pick it back up so very very easy maneuverability with the hydraulic grapple now here with the mechanical grapple this is going to be a little bit different because whenever you are using one of these mechanical grapples it is constantly open until you start to use the curl function on your loader so instead of using that hydraulic grapple what you're using to close the mechanical grapple is going to be either your curl or dump function on your loader so if i was ready to close the grapple on this mechanical grapple what i'm going to do is hit my loader joystick over to the right as if i was dumping that bucket and then you're going to start to see that 
grapples start to close. So whenever I'm coming here up to this hay bale, what I'm having to do is get that all the way open. Then I'm having to slide up to it, make sure that my bottom tines are touching the ground. Then what I'm having to do is I'm gonna also have to possibly be going forward or backward with my forward and reverse pedals to get that grapple in position. Then I'm gonna start to close that clamshell down over the top of that hay bale. And I may be having to, like I said, go forward or backward to stay in line because that bottom tying piece of this mechanical grapple is just swinging freely until it touches the ground. So once I get up to it, then I can close down on the grapple, pick it up, then move it. Now, the only bad thing about going with one of these mechanical grapples is as you could tell here, the only way I can pick material up is with it facing down. So I could not go into say the bed of a pickup and pick something up flat and then close that top tine. If my loader won't raise up high enough to be able to get straight down, then I'm not gonna be able to pick up that material. Now, the main thing that would set these two apart other than what all we have just talked about and what you've just seen about the way they pick things up the difference in price all of those things aside the main thing that makes these two difference is the versatility so with the hydraulic grapple you're going to be a little more versatile you're going to be able to go in and eat more easily pick things grab things maybe we're having to reach up in the barn on a top shelf for something we bust out this hydraulic grapple we can raise that thing up jump up there and grab it whereas here on the mechanical grapple this is going to be more of your push get piles of material it's going to be able to grab more it's going to be heavier and it is going to still be able to grapple just like we are here except for you are only going to be able to pick things up once you curl these top tines over so it's going to be a little less versatile than what you're going to get with your hydraulic grapple so all those things keep in mind whenever you are looking into these two grapples and this will help make your buying decision a whole lot easier so guys i hope this video helped you out i hope that you liked this video and if you did we just asked you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you are looking for more videos like this over equipment like this or other john deere videos make sure to go check out the rest of the channel and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys make sure to check out this cool video and this one buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here